Dear students, today we will be teaching three types of poems. Um, why are you talking like that? Because haiku is one of three types of poems, they will be learning. Oh, okay. You're such a weirdo. I am a weirdo. Life <laughs> is boring without me. You know you love me. If you say so. As Miss Billings just recited, you will be learning about three types of poetry. The first one is haiku. Japanese poem, you need to count syllables. Should I stop or nah? Yes, please stop talking in haiku. And did you just say or nah in a haiku? But you are right. Haiku is a traditional Japanese poem, and you do need to count syllables. There is a pattern. Five, seven, then five more. Total of three lines. You're killing me. But you're right. Haikus are written in three lines with five syllables in the first and then seven in the second and five again in the third. Also, haikus are usually about nature. You will be writing one haiku about nature and one is your choice. Your assignment is a total of two haikus. This is kind of fun. Who's the weirdo now? <laughs> <laughs> the second type of poetry you'll be working on is concrete poetry, which is one of my very favorites. Concrete poetry is sometimes also called shape poetry. It's poetry whose visual appearance matches the topic of the poem. The words form shapes which illustrate the poem's subject as a picture, as well as through their literal meaning. So if I was going to write a poem about how much I love unicorns, I would write it in the shape of a unicorn. Isn't that cool? This type of poetry has been used for thousands of years, since the ancient Greeks began to enhance the meaning of their poems by arranging their characters in visually pleasing ways, back in the 3rd and 2nd centuries B.C. Wow. A famous example of a concrete poem is The Mouse's Tale from Lewis Carroll's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, and seen right here. You will be writing two concrete poems for this assignment. And the final type of poetry for today is called If I Were. In this form, you write about how you would feel and what you would do if you were something else. There really isn't any specific format or structure to this type of poetry. The only requirement is that you begin each poem with, if I were, and tell what it would be like to be that thing. Here are a few examples. If I were a horse, I would toss my mane. I would run across fields until my legs couldn't anymore. I would be the breath of the wild. Here's another example from one of my students a couple years ago. <laughs> If I were a bird, I would eat a lot and poop in your coffee. <laughs> Good thing you're not a bird. <laughs> <laughs> you will be writing two If I Were poems. So to recap, you will be writing two haikus, one about nature and one about anything you want, two concrete poems, and two If I Were poems. We can't wait to see what you guys come up with.